Hello and welcome to a video in the world of Monster Hunter World Iceborne. Today we're looking at the Safi Jeeva Dual Blades, which are small bit busted with Safi armor and adding in things like blast, poison, paralysis and sleep dual blades that are actually pretty good. Well, we end up with a mess. Now, dual blades are not among my favorite weapons, so I'm a little bit scrubby with these. However, I do get the job done, things die, and we move on with our lives. So first of all, let's have a look at an uh, interesting setup that I believe does, or may, I, I've not actually checked out the dual blade meta, uh, just been playing around with it. I assume it's still Silver Raphalos, since bow is still Silver Raphalos, it's very element orientated. However, I have been running this, Safi Hellclaws, with an attack and two element augments. Element 6, 5, 5, 5, and then Sharpness 5, hard enduring in the weapons. Safi Helmet with Resentment, Expert, Expert. Rhyme Guard Mal Beta with Resentment, Expert. Safi Gloves with Challenger, Critical, Tenderizer. Rhyme Guard Alpha, we need that coalescence with Tenderizer Expert, and then Safi Boots with Tenderizer Medicine, Vitality, whatever you want, with Sharp. And then your last decoration and charm, in this case, are going to be for Fire Attack, just to hit that Fire Attack level five. This gives us 519.24 effective raw and 105 effective element now you might notice on that i didn't have resentment up or coalescence so yeah we're now going to be looking at what that looks like when you're near enough just smacking a monster in the head on repeat with an ailment on you yay however they are going to be on different different builds uh well same build different weapons so just keep an eye on the last decoration and the charm as well as the weapon other than that, all stats are the same. So this is for Bulk Claws. Build is the exact same as you can see, just swapped over, obviously, the weapon and using Bolt and Thunder. And this has Resentment and Coalition active. Same again for the Dragon, and it does boost our Raw quite a bit to 687. Cycling through the builds here, so we've got Frost Claws, Again, builds are the exact same. For mantles, uh, I use evasion with one more resentment as well as maintenance and rock steady with two maintenance on. Now, from what I can gather, and I could potentially be wrong here, these will have more sustained DPS capability than the a silver rathalos setup the best I can manage is about 3% lower. Now, if you are so wanting a little bit more utility out of your sharpness, you can put a razor sharp charm on. Just when you do that with your mantles, you will want challenger in everything, just to try and make up the difference. And of course, as we all know, the blast weapons are a little bit, and I do mean just, just a little bit, just a, just a tad busted. So we have this, Safi Shatter Claws with an attack two element, sharpness five, sharpness five, attack six, attack five, Tiostra. And I use the slider attack here because I like doing the weird slidey Beyblade buzzsaw thing. However, I have noticed that unless you have weak points all over the monster, this can ruin your sharpness. So I've gone for the slider there for a little bit of extra affinity. Safi Helmet with attack four, attack, attack. Safi Chest with Attack 4, Resentment. Kaiser Gloves with Resentment 4, Challenger. Kaiser Coil with Resentment 4, Tenderizer, Blast. And then Safi Boots with Expert, Tenderizer, Blast. And then a Challenger for Charm. Mantles on this one, I will leave up to you. I still use Evasion and I use Temporal on this one just so I can try and keep as much damage as possible to keep those Blast props up and I use Maintenance in both. Now, as for my final build to show you, this is a bit different and I got into an argument on 
someone's stream saying that latent power builds with Safi are overpowered with dual blades. And then the build they ran, they said that this will out damage all meta builds with dual blades utilizing latent power by I think it was something stupid by like 8% that they were saying and yeah I couldn't help it so I got my damage calculation smart hunter up and over a course of a sati safi hunt they got like 19,000 damage and I got 35,000 damage and I'm not the best dual blade player and they were running their weird latent power mix up and I was running the well this blast build that you can currently see me using that I have just shown and then I looked at their build and it was a complete mess but I thought I'd have a quick look to see if there's a way you can make latent power active and after a bit of research it is genuinely a thing. And this is about as close as I could actually get. It is pretty damn powerful, nowhere near the meta, well it's pretty close but not better than the meta. The only thing that is really good about it is when you do get latent power proc, if you eat for black belt and have a dash juice you are literally in demon mode for days. Other than that, yeah, in the meantime, have fun, good luck, and don't die. It's bad for the health.